Hey everyone, Nick Kratikos of Nick Seasonal Decor, and I am so excited to be back. So, um, you know, we didn't have much free time for me to really go live and talk with you guys, although we did do a live at one of our vendors. So if you guys want to check that out, you can find it uh, on our page. And I showed you guys some of the new goodies we got. So we have a lot of stuff arriving next year. Some of you were kind of confused about that. So we purchased the supplies a year in advance. Um, so, you know, at this time of year, we're actually shopping for Thanksgiving, fall, Christmas, Halloween. Um, and we also, you know, shop for Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. And then June, we're shopping for spring and summer as well. So it's kind of weird. The business we're in is in a weird kind of world um, where you're always shopping you know, either right after the season or, you know, much in advance or designing much in advance. So tonight we're going to be designing two different reads. As you come in, if you're catching the replay, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. We're going to be designing a black and gold wreath first, which I'm so happy about. Black and gold is one of the prettiest combos um, and it just works for, you know, winter, New Year's. It's the perfect time of year to have that. So I actually came up to my studio uh, and dad, not not dad, dad was with me. Dad and Alex were with me, but Steven painted my table and Steven and Yaya filled some of your orders. So we did about 50, 60 orders so far. We actually got off our flight um, back home in Boston and went directly to the warehouse to start packing your orders. Um, with that being said, we still have more rolls of ribbon. So this weekend, um, you know, we'll be still giving away some rolls of ribbon, whether it's from our stuff or some Hobby Lobby ribbon. We just have tons of ribbon that we would like to go to good homes. So we also are going to give away some Sam's Club ribbon and some special orders too. So any order that you place, regardless of the price, uh, you're eligible for a free roll as long as supplies last. So how cool is that, you guys? I'm so happy that we're able to do that. So we're gonna start with an 18 inch grapevine, a pipe cleaner, and our ribbon. So the ribbon we're gonna be using is this one. Isn't this really pretty? Hi, Nina, thank you. Your items are amazing, received my order, uh, loved everything. Thank you so much, Regina. So this ribbon's a new ribbon. We went live showing you guys the new supplies right before we went to Illinois. So the night before we showed you guys some of the new stuff. So I'm kind of excited uh, because I haven't worked with any of this. So the item number for this is RG0855602. We didn't put this in kit form, but stay tuned. We will have kits. Uh, we are sold out of our 18 inch grapevines. And I think we removed the 14 inch from our site as well. Uh, but don't be alarmed because Monday we are getting about a thousand 14 inch, a thousand 18 inch. We're getting some ovals uh, for both sizes, 14 and 18. We're getting um, square wreath forms. We're getting uh, hearts in. We're getting all different shapes and sizes, which I'm so thrilled about. So for this wreath, we're actually going to work in two tails. We haven't done that in a rather long time. And this has that gold tinsel on the edge, which is really pretty. Hey, Kathy, thank you. I'm glad to be back. Okay, so we're gonna create a funky bow for this design. We're gonna create loops about three and a half, four inches. And I'm going live now because <laughs> I'm really tired. Uh, Alex and me are really tired. Dad's not here, dad has some paperwork to do. Um, but dad, yaya, uh, me, Yaya, Bella for a short time, and Alex have been filling your orders when we got back. So we still have a long ways to go. But like I said, we should have plenty of ribbon for this weekend. So most orders that go through this weekend will receive a free roll of ribbon. You know, the value can be anywhere from five to, you know, $15. We have all sorts of types that we're giving away. Lots of overstock ribbon. We also have, you know, some Sam's Club ribbon that I wanted to part with, you know, which we usually do giveaways for. But you guys have treated us so well with our website so far in the three short months we've been selling supplies that I figured we'd throw in some free rolls of ribbon uh, to anybody that places orders. So that's three loops so far. And what a beautiful ribbon. Dad did a good job choosing this one. Come back in with some more loops. I want this bow to be really full. So now that I have a fresh clean table, we can start pre-recording some tutorials and do all sorts of things. So. It's nice and clean. I didn't even notice when I came up here. Yeah, he's like, did you notice your table? But I didn't. So Steven came up here and painted it for me. 
All right, so how many of you guys received your text? Let me know if you got your text yet. Alex is sending out texts. If you would like to be added to our text alerts where we text you anytime we go live designing, um, you know, anytime we're kind of doing warehouse uh, tours, showing you guys some new products and some things that we have deals on or whatever the case may be, all you have to do is just text me. And if you text me to the number 978-396-9150, you'll be notified anytime we go live. So I know Facebook notifications can be quite wonky, uh, and this kind of ensures that you'll get notified. All right, there's our bow. Now let's dovetail it. Let's dovetail it before we secure it to our grapevine. And who's excited about us having more grapevines? You know, you guys bought us out of grapevines real quick. And these, I believe, will be the same price, $6.99. Dovetail, so I know it's an early live, but I'll be able to go home, relax, finish up the critique for the Wreath community, watch a movie. I mean, I've been waking up a lot earlier this last week than I usually do. But it's been fun, it was so much fun, and you guys know it's just such a blessing, and I'm so thankful that I'm able to take my family. You know, even though we went for business, it's still, it's still different having you know, family be with you. Stand by yourself. All right, bow is complete. I think I dovetailed all of those. So we'll take our bow and we're gonna place it in the upper left-hand corner per usual. You guys know I love that placement. And the wreath after this too. So stick around because we're creating a rose gold wreath. Fluff it out. Always at this point in time, you guys, when you fluff your bows, do it gently. You don't need to go overboard. You know, I often see designers, whether they go live or whatever the case may be, really go to the extreme at this point in time. And it's not necessary for many reasons, uh, but I think the most important reason is because you're gonna be adding a lot of product to it. So when I fluff my designs at this point in time, I'm more so just fluffing it to gauge the overall size uh, and not necessarily fluff it you know, for its beauty, because you're gonna have to redo that. And once you hang your, uh, your wreath up on a wall, you're gonna have to refluff it again as uh, anyway. So that's what it's looking like. Thank you guys for the shares. I see some of you got your text so far. And I'd like to know too, how many of you guys have placed orders with us so far? You know, it's been three months that we've been in the warehouse. It feels like a lot longer, and at the same time, it feels all, you know, brand new to me as well. But three months, we're just so thankful. Okay, our final tail. Like I said, we did four tails on this bow. Up next, we're gonna work in just a little bit of greenery. I don't want too much greenery because we do have you know, some colorful sprays that we're gonna work in. I don't wanna overdo it. So these have an item number. Oh, I forgot to give you, oh, I gave you the item number of this. Grapevines aren't in stock, we'll have those Monday. XV7592, and I think these are like $4 and change or so. It's a beautiful PVC pine. Cut the tags off, and I'm just gonna cut two of them in their entirety, and then the third one will probably break down. Grab our clippers, snip it shorter. And the clippers I use, I struggle with at this point because I always forget to get new clippers, uh, but these clippers are going on like three, four years strong. That's how long I've been using them. Not the sharpest at this point, but as you can see, they still work and they still cut, just with a little bit more force. Um, but I just get mine from Hobby Lobby. You know, nothing fancy, cr nothing crazy expensive. My logic is, is if it lasts a couple of years, I'll just throw it out. You know, scissors and stuff, the expensive ones you can sharpen, like Fiskars and whatnot. I prefer just to throw them out eventually and get new ones, which is definitely needed at this point. Somebody remind me. 
Somebody remind me to get clippers. All right, there's our third one. I actually didn't break that one up at all. And I want one more above the bow. So I brought four up here. We'll snip this off. There we go. Open it up. And we'll place that one up there. All right. Next product we're gonna work in, can you guys hear me okay? Something's up with my microphone. Um, but we're gonna work in these black felt pieces right here. These are only a few dollars. We have them in a bunch of different colors. The black one is XS984502. And we're just gonna divide this up into smaller pieces. We don't need the entirety of it all at once. And this we've actually used a couple of times in the wreath community. Um, I really like them. We got some gold we're gonna work in for the first time tonight. So that's one spray's worth. We'll do the same thing for a second spray. Just breaking them up. And we'll work them in. I'll start really down below that we have a that way we have a nice long wreath. The longer your bow or tails, in today's case, uh, the more the illusion of a larger design. So I always like to cut my tails especially long. Work pieces throughout. Up top. On the sides. Place a piece there. And then we have one final piece from those sprays, which we'll place here. Perfect. How's that look so far? Are you guys liking that? Yeah, perfect wreath for New Year's Eve, right? With all the stars on it. Well, those look like stars to me. Are those stars, you guys? Whatever the pattern is, it's very, very pretty. Then we have some gold, and I think one spray of the gold is gonna be enough. So the gold has an item number of XS984508. And if you're just tuning in, um, make sure you text me if you haven't done so yet. And if you place an order at nickseasonaldecor.com this weekend, we're gonna be giving away a roll of ribbon per order, regardless of how much you spend. Because we've got plenty and I don't need it all. So this one we just broke into three, little, uh, three larger pieces, which we'll place in kind of a triangular fashion. So one down below, one up top, and then one to the side of the bow. Like that, and I was meaning to get a black pipe cleaner, but I think once we fluff this appropriately, you're not gonna see that pipe cleaner at all anyway. Pull your tails down. And there we go. Next thing I have are some ornaments. So you guys can be kind of my voice of reason. Should I work in ornaments or should I not? So all of our ornaments of this size, these are, I believe, 100 millimeters. These are a dollar and a quarter, and they come in a plastic sleeve. We have three of the non-shiny or the matte, and then we have three of the shiny. Do you guys think they're necessary, or would you do without? Let me know. Yay or nay? DeMarcus says yes. Hey, Jeff. That's work in the ornament. This is absolutely beautiful for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. 
Exactly. So Marianne says no to the ornaments. Ooh. I'm a little gassy today, you guys. But let's see a few more comments. Yay or nay? Two or three, maybe. Do you guys like the shine or the matte? I think the matte's more appropriate. No, says Judy. I mean, I don't think that's necessary. I think it is pretty all on its own. Yes, it needs something pretty. Do without. I think do without. But if you want to work them in, we do have probably 10 different styles of just gold 100 millimeter ornaments um, in stock. So this is the first wreath. Let's create our second wreath. Stick around. We're going to do a rose gold one next with a traditional bow. So grapevine, 18 inch, we'll have those Monday. We only have, I think, 48 of these gold ribbons uh, available. Well, 47 now, um, plus whoever ordered this this weekend or you know the last couple of days, but we weren't able to get more of it, but dad really liked it, so he got the 48. Okay, next wreath. This wreath, we're gonna start with our bow as well. And lots of you guys ask me, does it matter if I start with the bow? Does it matter if I start with you know, the greenery? Why did you start with the ribbon? Why'd you start with the greenery? <laughs> the answer always is, you know, it's whatever I feel like in that moment. So I'm gonna choose the best looking side of this grapevine. Uh, we do have some grapevines available, but the reason we don't have them listed is because they're not perfect. And you know, when I send out my grapevines, I want them to be as nice as possible and not only do I want them to be as nice as possible, but Yaya really wants them to be as well. Um, you know, she's the one that shakes them, even though I tell her she doesn't have to, but she wants to make sure you guys are happy with your grapevines. So we always send out the best ones we have. We're gonna take our ribbon. This is a silver ribbon. We've had this for a while. Item number of RGA1027. And we're gonna do a traditional bow. Create loops about four and a half inches or so. If you want a more in-depth bow tutorial, we have hundreds. Uh, we have lots of them that are fast forward, slow motion. If there's a bow tutorial you're looking for, chances are we probably have it on our Facebook or YouTube. And thank you for everybody that's been following us on Instagram and uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel lately. Uh, I've seen lots of you know, new faces there as well. So if you haven't, you know, we post content there too. And I can safely say we've been posting content daily on Facebook, uh, I mean YouTube, but not only daily, we've been posting two videos a day on YouTube. So if you wanna see some older designs and some recent designs, check out our YouTube. That's four loops on that side. Let's do four on this side. And then I want this bow to be really Luxurious. So let's work in a few more loops. You guys seem to really like the, the bows with tons and tons of loops. So let's go for it. That's five loops. On this side too, let's do, let's stop at seven loops each, why not? That's six loops. And the glitter on this is silver and clear. So you're getting both of those colors. So it doesn't look gaudy. Um, you know, lots of ribbons we saw this weekend. We didn't order, although they are popular, but I'm not a fan of chunky glitter or ribbon that is just straight up glitter. If it's just absolutely covered in glitter without another color of glitter or clear glitter to kind of offset it, you know, I don't love it. You guys know my thoughts towards glitter as it is, uh, but we chose lots of ribbon that, you know, I think you guys will like. So should we do two tails on this bow too, or just one? What are you guys thinking? Two tails, one tail. Let's do one. We're just gonna grab a moss green pipe cleaner. We have pipe cleaners that we ordered as well, pretty much every color. I'm not a zip tie guy, so we don't have zip ties. I very rarely use them, if ever. But let's try something different. Let's do the lower left now. And I'm left-handed, so I seem to like the left-hand side. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm left-handed or because, you know, subconsciously when I'm opening the door, you know, the door handle or door knob is always on the right. 
And I think if you have a big display in the lower right with long, long tails, it might get in the way. So I kind of like doing everything on the left-hand side. That way you don't get annoyed with your wreath. Tie it off really, really tight. And there we go, time to fluff. Did I tie that tight enough? I did. And another trick too, this ribbon's quite sturdy and it holds its shape perfectly with no issues. But if you deal with a cheaper ribbon or you know, if years ago you purchased a cheaper ribbon and you want to end up using it, because nobody wants to throw out brand new rolls, whether the quality is good or not. Uh, biggest tip is to take some greenery and work it behind the loops. So these ones prop up perfectly, so I wouldn't say this is a thin ribbon at all. Uh, but if you are using thin ribbon, you can always just take extra greenery and extra floral material and use it to your advantage. There's the bow. What do you think? You think that turned out pretty? Should we do like a slow-mo, in-depth, traditional bow tutorial with tons of loops? Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so before we do any uh, rose gold sprays or anything of that nature, we have some of these frosted cedar bushes. Item number of PF1643, and I absolutely love them and we're gonna break them down into smaller pieces. We'll just snip one bush down to start. And work it in. Don't be afraid of taking your greenery and placing it really close to your bows or your loops. Take some longer pieces, extend them out. Don't forget about underneath the design as well. Above. And that's our first spray's worth. So let's break down a second spray. We have a big bow, we gotta make sure we have the greenery and flowers to match. That little piece slipped off, I'll just tuck that in. Come back in with our second. greenery though I really do like it and I want another piece down here too work some pieces towards the inside now with every product you use always make sure that you're taking some of it and placing it all the way around your bow. Obviously you can't see every nook and cranny of the greenery uh, or whatever product you're kind of tucking in deep, but always do that, you know, especially with your more inexpensive products because what ends up happening is you create a better effect. You create that depth, you know, with, with the unknown. So I've always been a fan ever since I was little of taking things and obscuring them. It's always been something I've loved doing uh, because it gives your eye something to kind of catch every time you look at your design. Our final piece we'll place there. And see how we did that? And two sprays is enough because we have other products to work in. So you always got to find a way to stop working in something, whether you have more or you had intended to use more. You know, often our designs take a wild turn where we don't end up using everything that we put on our table um, just because it's not necessary. So just because you have it on your table or because it matches does not mean it, need, uh, you know, it needs it in the design. So you know, by stopping at this point, we create a lighter design at this you know, step 
And then by working in more products we fill in, if need be, we can work in more of this later on. Uh, but always reserve some, that way in the end, it doesn't look like one big clustered wreath um, and you have a little bit more depth, you have a little bit more airiness and you're, you're not wasting your money because we always gotta keep budget into consideration with each and every one of our designs. That way we're not pro uh, you know, losing any money and we're not pricing it too high for our customers to not be able to afford them. Okay, here's the rose gold sprays. What do you guys think of that? Hands up, aren't those pretty? Rose gold eucalyptus? Oh, I love it. Item number of FG568445. So I think we have a couple rose gold products in. I think we have some stems in, like decorative picks with glitter. We have this eucalyptus that came in on Tuesday. And we also have uh, some rose gold mesh. I think only a couple rolls of that left. You guys bought that real quick, which is okay. We'll get some more. So we'll take some of these pieces. We're not gonna add them as heavily as we did with the greenery, because it's just not necessary. So we'll take some pieces, work them towards the middle, some pieces up top. This is a really long piece. Which do I wanna work in in that full length? I don't think I do, so we'll just snip that shorter. And that way, we get more bang for our buck. We have another extra piece that we can add elsewhere. Place that there. Another piece on the left-hand side. And we have one final piece which I'm gonna subdivide up as well. We'll take one of those pieces, work it towards the left-hand side, and then the other side, we'll get that final little piece we have left. I'm gonna stop at that point for now. If we wanted to work in more, we can. What do you guys think? That should be enough rose gold, right? The next element we're gonna work in, which I brought up two, but I'm thinking one should be enough, is the silver lime green bay leaf. So it's not really lime green, but if you look at it, you see some of the natural green underneath, which is really nice. Item number of XS506557. And these are 550 in our shop. Uh, and it was really funny because we saw these uh, yesterday and dad got so excited. He goes, there's the bay leaves. You guys know how much dad loves these things. So with that being said, we have every color imaginable on order. We got reds, we got more golds, we got greens. You name it, dad wanted it. So we'll just start tucking in some of these and these are also gonna help tie in that silver. We have some you know, straight up silver sprays that match this ribbon perfectly, but I knew we were gonna do a traditional bow and I figured in the end we were gonna end up working a lot of loops. So I thought the best choice for this project would be to use the silver um, lime green bay leaf because it's gonna kind of contrast against that ribbon. So if it was that super bright white silvery color bay leaf, it would just look like one giant you know, cluster of this color. So I wanted to kind of offset that a little bit. Fluff your bow out. We have one final piece of this, which I'm actually gonna tuck underneath these products. That way you just see the, the final few pieces sticking out the top. Fluff, 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 and there you have it. What do you think of that? Didn't that turn out pretty? Let's see if I can tilt it. Thank you, Vicky. Vicky says very pretty. I'm just gonna lift up my camera a little bit, see if I can do that. 
Absolutely beautiful. You guys rock. We're going to use that sign this week too. So Christmas is about a month away, a little less than a month away. Um, but that doesn't mean people aren't decorating or purchasing Christmas designs. We sold plenty since we've been gone. And on top of that, you know, lots of people are just starting to decorate. Most, you know, most people, I'd say, decorate December 1st or the day after Thanksgiving. So it's still like one week into Christmas decorating. No way everybody has it done. I don't even have it done, you guys. I still got a lot left to do. But there is that. We used 18-inch grapevine, one rose, uh, eucalypt, rose gold eucalyptus, which is really pretty. It's got some nice veining on it. One roll of our silver, one and a half inch ribbon, one bay leaf, 550 for that, and two of the kind of frosted juniper sprays. And that's it to get this beautiful full wreath. Not crazy expensive. So again, for those of you that place orders at nickseasonaldecor.com this weekend, um, we are going to be giving away one free roll of ribbon while supplies last. I know we have a, you know, enough downstairs for all of the orders we've gotten thus far. And then you know we should have a couple rolls left. And if not, we have tons up here that I'm looking at. Uh, we got Sam's Club, Hobby Lobby, you name it. And we'll be throwing one per order you know, as long as the supplies last. So it'll help me kind of get rid of stuff, make space for new stuff, look a little less cluttered, um, and clean out the basement. So that's the update. Make sure to text me. Number is 978-396-9150. Uh, you'll receive a, an alert every time we go live and any other specials and, you know, cool videos we have posted. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thank you for all of the support. So love you all. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow night, we're definitely going to have a kit available. Um, you know, and I'm excited because it has a really pretty red and red and green gingham edged ribbon. So you guys will just have to stay tuned for that. So yeah, that's the update. There's the second wreath we made, rose gold. I'll take a picture in just a minute. And that was done doing a traditional bow technique with lots of loops. And here's the first wreath we made with the black and gold using the funky bow technique. This one has four tails. So thank you all so much. You can find the products on our website and I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone.